Have you ever heard about gamification or game-based learning and wondered what the difference is between the two? Or have you seen the increasing attention being given to game-based learning and wondered if it is supported by sound science or just an overhyped fad? I can share a little bit more information about that. My name is Travis Windelhart, and I'm a senior researcher at Foundry 10, an education research organization that expands ideas about learning and creates direct value for you. Today, I'm going to talk to you about game-based learning, which is a growing education practice used by teachers and connected to a hobby children are widely engaged in. In Foundry 10's STEM design-based research lab, we collect and conduct research about how youth learn while playing different types of games. We also highlight what ongoing research is saying about the benefits of game-based learning. For example, when research shows it is most effective, and when it's not, leaving viewers with a few key definitions and a simple framework for thinking about this. First up, gamification. One of the best ways to describe it is using Duterte's definition, which states that gamification is the use of game-like elements in non-game settings. Some people apply the term gamification to any game or game-like structure that's used for learning or in an educational setting. There is a lot of truth to that, but when we think about the effectiveness of these types of tools and think specifically about how we define different types of interactions with games, researchers and teachers typically use that term in a particular way. Maybe you've seen a chore app that awards points and rewards for children for completing tasks or a fitness app that has a badge notification when you reach your step count goal for the day. These are examples of gamification. In classroom settings, it can look like assigning point values to correct answers in a classroom quiz game, or having students race against a clock to straighten up the classroom before going home. Even a lot of things we think of as games, like the classic math learning game Math Blaster, memory flashcard games, or Typing programs structured in game-like settings are considered gamification. The point is, gamification occurs when people take the sorts of things you typically find in games like points, badges, or timing, and wrap them around a practical activity that is very much not a game, like exercising or memorizing math equations. On the other hand, game-based learning involves thinking about a game as a model of what takes place in the real world, much the same way you might use a model plane to learn something about a real plane, or a model skeleton to learn something about human anatomy. With game-based learning, the game's environment models conditions and concepts that we see in the real world, such as accurate physics, chemistry, biology, and history patterns. For example, the game Kerbal Space Program accurately models rocketry in physics. The game Civilization, to some degree, accurately models the factors that cause growth and evolution of human civilizations. And even the classic history game, The Oregon Trail, accurately models the types of resource management and decision-making required of pioneers on that trail in the 19th century. Research shows that gamification can have positive impacts on learner motivation when engaging in a task. But in many other ways, the learning benefits of gamification are very limited. On the other hand, there's a growing field of research that shows when learners actually play through games that model real-world concepts, they do in fact come away with an increased understanding and an improved mental model of the content represented in that game. There are a number of scholars doing work in the area of gamification and game-based learning. In the description below, you can see some of the research papers that support these claims. That's all for now. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, because in the next video, I'll be talking more about the idea of games and mental models.